Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Enshrouded. I'm your host, Klaus Fade. We're here in Glenwood's End, where we ended last episode, and it dawned on me after we ended that episode that there's a golden chest over here. And if we were to take and create a flame altar right here, we could run over here and repeatedly open this. So I did that for a while. We get things like masterful maces, which turn into runes. And so what I got out of that process is this. I got a hero shield. We picked up the warrior trousers to go along with the warrior chest we pulled last time. Plus two stamina regeneration and plus two stamina regeneration on the warrior boots. We lose the plus two health regeneration from the other boots. A little sad about that. I never could get the gloves for this warrior set. And I did get the helm, helm and it's has more resistance but you lose the 11 percent critical strike chance and since our build is kind of built around uh, this battle heal i need crits so i don't want to lose i didn't want to lose that we also picked this up ring of the flame it says plus 40 shroud time now it doesn't say whether that's seconds or minutes or what i assume it's seconds we're gonna find out and then i also picked up a couple new things i picked up this the luminous wand uh, does fire magic damage and has shroud magic resistance. And we also picked up the shepherd's lightning staff, increased maximum mana. It's slightly better than the staff we had, which had three levels of increased maximum mana by one. This only has two, but it has increased critical hit chance and damage by 20%. And then we picked up this sword, the white wolf, plus seven shroud magic damage three times. It gives you retaliation. Incoming damage is dealt back to the attacker. 20% of it is. That's only if you aren't blocking. So normally you want to be blocking. So we're going to go back to our place because we need to drop some stuff off. And then we're going to come back to here. We want to go back to Thornhold. Which is our fancy house. And I'll show you what I did with the stairs downstairs. Now remember... There's a very long way to get inside the house here, to get down in the basement where there's a lot of room to put all your stuff. And that is to go through the kitchen and go all the way around the other side. But there was also this bathroom over here through this wall. So what I did is I got rid of the bathroom and I built some stairs directly down because they go right into the big room. So I was able to put all my stuff here. So this was a lot of fun to dig this out. Uh, part of it is under the building and part of it is in some dirt and make this wall here and then I put the blacksmith here this is really cool so then to go out what we did so I wouldn't lose my comfort level 29 is we put all the bathroom stuff in here so there it is so I like that a lot better for layout that was fun I like the versatility of being able to build and move things around like that it's very cool so we're gonna go put some stuff away namely these building blocks and all of those things there and then we'll keep that shroud flower on us for a little bit and try some stuff out with that. We have some rocks and things to get rid of. What is this? One of these has this right there. Wax. That's what I wanted to get rid of. Do we have room for honey in here? We do. A little tiny bit. Okay. And the rest of this is pretty good. I think we're good. All right, we have a spot way back up here. Nope, we have this guy. Oh, that move got him all the way. I don't know what that move is. I don't know. That one. That first move, though. What the hell did I do on that one? That was awesome. Okay. Let's move up here. Because we have this. A time for harvest. So let's go find out what that is. And then there's a flame shroud over there that I think we already grabbed last time. If I remember correctly, that was like the last thing we did last episode. So. Let's go find out. It's over here somewhere. Yeah, it was over there. This is the flame shroud. 
flame shrine. Okay, so we'll grab that. Get us a couple sparks. We remember that pit down there. Is it in that building? It looks like it is. It's that building over there. Okay. You coming, buddy? No? Okay. It's up here in this building. Looks like maybe. Spiders. All right. What is this? Explosive powder ball. This place has lost its roof. Open. Open, says me. The Infernal Wand. Does some fire magic damage. Nice, but we have better wands. Okay, so what are we looking for here? Did we find it? What is this thing? Then one's in landfill. Set as waypoint. We're looking for... What is this? A time for harvest. You gave the farmer strawberries. Their flavor reminded Emily of her home, which used to be a bountiful oasis before disaster struck. In exchange for the berries, she revealed the creation of a buried treasure in the trash pit. Oh, it's okay. So it's buried treasure. Well, we know how that works. Let's go down here. We got anybody over there? So it's down here somewhere. Yep. All right. You gonna come over here, pal? Unfortunately, I have two wands that do pretty much exactly the same thing. 35 and 34, that one crit for 69. This one does 33. So they both do basically the same thing, which is kind of a shame. Loot. I don't need those bones, but let's go back to here. It's going to be right here. Get down here, buddy. Okay, open this thing up. It's the arsonist bow. Let's take a look at that. So the arsonist bow is going to do 17 power compared to our other one, which is 22. This is the big backstab bow. Increased critical chance. Critical hit chance by 5% and then damage by 80%. <laughs> so if you can, if you can backstab something with that, you'd be in great shape. This will do plus three piercing damage. Vicious will increase backstab damage, increase critical hit chance, and then leech damage is stamina. So, you know, not anything that we really care about, but at least we got that one done. Okay, let's go do some more quests then while we're on it. The Vuka Ceremony. Where is this thing? Ceremonial Hill. Oh, it's way over in that direction. Okay, and then what's this? This is going to be a Shroud Flower. Okay. And what's this? Also a shroud flower. What's the fastest way over there? Probably from this ancient spire. Okay, let's do a couple of shroud flowers. We want to try out this ring. We're going to go here. We're going to travel to here. Let's see what the ring does, shall we? Actually, though, before we do that... Let's take a look at what do we have. Here we have Flask of the Fell, plus 20 stamina, Elixir, minus one time in a shroud. I'm going to get rid of this. We need to, this is what I want. Shroud, survival, flask. Okay. Let's use that item. Oh, and then we have this thing here. We need our meat. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? I'm 
band actually covers that song, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2, because my bass player and my other guitar player, drum slash drummer, used to, they, they love doing that, the end part of that song, yelling into the microphone, how can you have your pudding if you don't eat your meat? Stand still, laddie. They love doing that whole bit. It's hilarious for them. I like doing it because I get to do David Gilmore solo. And anytime I can do a David Gilmore solo, I am a happy man. <laughs> I'm a happy guitar player. All right, so let's head down Elixir Wellland. We got to go south east, like right there. All right, butter. Let's do this. Grab some honeycomb. And we're just going to go right down there. Let's see how far we can go. Oh. Okay. I put that ring on now. What do I have for rings? Ring of health. Mana regeneration. Let's do this. Okay. What's that? What's this going to do for our time here? We're not quite sure yet. There's a tower over here. This might be a good place to stop. Although maybe not. We are running out of stamina, but we're also running out of altitude. So it's not really going to matter here in another minute. It's flashing. It's saying you are almost out of time. We got nine, almost 10 minutes. So. It's got to be 40 seconds then is what it's doing. This is awesome. We're just gliding. Holy cow. It's like, oh my gosh, that was awesome. That was like, it's like being in the Olympics, man. Might as well grab these while we're here. These are always useful. Some recipes we need those for. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I'm on the bobsled team. Oh, sneak up behind me, will ya? Wow. And that kind of changes the state of things here. How you guys feeling? You want to come over here? I've lost my refresh. That's the bummer. I think let's take a look at that. What I this is what health regeneration. We can handle health regeneration. I want the ring of opacity on here. Cause eventually we're gonna have to fight something here. Big and scary. Uh oh, where's that bow? Backstab damage. It didn't do that much though. Look at you guys, bugs. What's this over here? Thought it might have been a thing of water, but nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep coming, you turkeys. Okay, so it's 124 meters in that direction. Oh, it's down there. We're gonna get all our time back here. This is nice. Is some of that red? Oh no, it is. <gasps> no. Oh, rats. Well, son of a gun. That was disappointing. We're not going to have all of our stamina now. Hmm. Should I go rest or not? Let's do it. Let's go rest somewhere real quick. Dang. So there's an edge there that goes into some... Something that looks a little dark and creepy. This place. 
give me all of the maximum the maximum rest hopefully we won't die again because that was no bueno tower time So, my friend, you want to fly southeast? Well, just know there's something very scary down there. It's pretty. I wonder if I shouldn't hit this green... Because we're going to run out of stamina this time. Let's hit this and run along the outer ridge edge. Like this. We'll get all our stamina back. There we go. It's our old house. And a bunch of rabbits. Look at you guys, you're so cute with your big ears. Running rabbits, scaring rabbits. Yeah, I was not expecting there to be a massive amount of death here, but there is some Red River land down there. Now we got to find the place where we jumped off. Oh, really? Doggy. I have things to do. Is this... Yeah, what's that? Where's it gonna be at? There it is. Oh, lots of valuable stuff in there. So this is 110 meters in that direction. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's the flower. Okay, so what do we need to do here? We just need to fly down on that bad boy. I don't see anybody down there. Let's do this. Six. Six. Who wants to fight me? Kurgan? Skill point. Nobody here. It's just down here by itself. Wow. There's a boat. Somebody clearly came here. See, this is... You could see this is where there should be water. But there's not because of the shroud. Anything else here? I don't see anything, so I think we're good to go. Alright, where's the next one that we can get? Because there was another one that was pretty close by, wasn't there? Right there. We can go from there. Or we could fly down the spire from here and go that way. How, how hard would it be to get from here to here? Because it's just 400 meters across that way. Can we do it? Can we get over there? Yeah. 
see there were docks here and everything. This was like a little bit on the river there. Morwenna. Morwenna. Well. Depends. I mean, if she's not nice, I might want less Wenna. More doggies. It's got a comfort level seven. It's a cozy little place. Does it? Oh, it's got beds. <laughs> it has beds and a chest. Well, oh, it's got a lockpick chest. And shroud survival flasks. How nice is that? Okay, let's go check out that place over there. And if not, we'll come back and sleep on this bed. Plus, there's this up here. Oh, it's got a ladder. A rusty sword. Okay. Oh, do I not have... Oh, I do. I was like, do I not have a... One of these guys? A torch? It's got a comfort level of 15 here. Wow. This would have been a good candidate as well. See, it's got a similar layout to our current one. for your friends. Scream and die. Nice place. Heal channel. Okay. Let's go upstairs then. Upstairs should be through here. Yeah, it's got an almost identical layout to the to that place. This is great. Yeah, it does. So if you want to, there's going to be an attic, and if you wanted to, you could build stairs up here like I did in that room. And this room should have a bed. It's got two beds. Great. Well, then we will allow morning to approach. Chickens. Oh, wow, there's a little bit of light coming off that, isn't there? That's nice. A little bit of light off the wolf sword. Is that what it's called again? It's the, the Hail Scourge. This is the White Wolf Sword. Yeah, the White Wolf Sword has a little bit of... A little bit of light on it. Cool. And the Rooster. Oh, poor baby. Oh, there's a spider gonna come get you. He's just coming out here for me? Oh, come on. You're not gonna fight the wolves? He's going to run back inside. Well, run back inside, you coward. I don't know if we can get there. Come here, Sparky. There you guys are. Okay. Scrap arrows. Don't care. Alright, we're 436 meters from where we were originally intending to go. Before we were so rudely interrupted. A 
little camp up there. Maybe there's a notepad or something over here that we can read. Most of these little tent camp places have something like that. Tell you a little bit more about the store. Oh, this is the carpentry camp. This is what we came to before. Okay. We'll read this just in case. More Morwenna. This is new lore page. Would be quiet and peaceful, I imagine, if it weren't for those pests. They gnawed everything I build. From barn to edifice, monument to manor, ripped to shreds by wild beasts. It's as if they're laughing at my artistry. They weren't always so ferocious. Forced to leave their natural habitats, maybe. Is it this spreading blight people whisper about? Aunt Irveta says they seem scared more than anything. Dear Aunt says I cannot see this fact due to my one eye. I did not find this jest to be funny. <laughs> oh, well. Cotton Eye Joe. And there's, that's going to be the eastern one. Yeah, we could go after that today. End up in more of the shroud here soon. 270. So where are we headed? We're headed up there. And there's the ancient spire. Oh, did we already unlocked that one. Oh, cool. Gosh, how come I didn't see it before when I was scrolling back on the map? I'm looking for an easy place. It would have been probably easier to come there instead of here. Oh, well. Me and my blind eye. All right, let's see what we're looking at here then. This looks like red and scary down there. Hmm. I think it's going to be on the other side of that, isn't it? Yeah, it's over here. This looks like it isn't going to exactly be easy to traverse unless we go across a bridge and loop around that way. Maybe that, maybe we can do that. Let's try this bridge. Maybe we can loop around to where we need to. Such a pretty game with such pretty music. Gotta like it. But we're poopered. I love the honeycombs. Oh, look, look who's here. You guys have water? No, but you got this. I'll take your resin. What's in here? I see. I spy with my little eye. chest back there, I believe. Yep, you relate to the party. Oh, I missed. That's what we're looking for from them. The water, if they've got it. Ring of Stamina. Plus one Stamina. Plus one stamina regeneration. Not even sure why I picked that up. Okay, let's cross country it over in this direction. There seems to be another bridge. Oh yeah, it's straight ahead. Excelente. It's out in the open. We don't have to crawl down for it. Oh. Ring of rot. Oh, I see. Rat. 
Screaming ladies are out of the way. I was thinking since the since it was out in the open, I'm like, oh, this will be easy. But that was an incorrect thought. Oh, what are you kidding me? Eat me. Oh my goodness, what are, what are we doing here? Yeah, ring of stamina. And then what's this? Health regeneration. St uh, I don't really want to delete that. I want to keep it, but... Mm. This this is the delay. I'm sure people watching right now are like, there's so many easy things to get rid of. Yes, there should be, but I'm a dummy. I have a hard time deleting anything. Where's my gap here? Where did it go? I picked it up right there. Let's do that. Doink. Doink. Shepherd's lightning. Now we can get the head. Okay. Now let's head over here. Oh, look. It's one of those devices. Improve your time in the shroud. What's this? Oh, it's a chest. What are you doing there, dummy? Shoot me again. Or don't. It's a chest. A wildwood short bow. Shroud magic damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, get rid of this. Shroud magic damage. Does piercing damage and then shroud magic damage and it only has a power of nine. Okay. Let's just salvage it. Oh, that's nice. Might as well grab that while we're here. Oh yeah, baby. Kick the field goal there. Bring it on, sister. Oh yeah. Nobody can hear you scream except yourself. Oh, I thought that was going to nail her. Guess not. Well then, it's time to cut you down, buddy. Oh, I love it. I crit the tree with an axe and it gave me health. That was nice. Okay. Nobody else here. Well then, oh, there's this fool here. Wait a minute. Yeah. Is he turned around? Nope. He's not. Oh, that was effective, though. That was very effective. Okay, what's next? So we got that shroud root. Okay, and then what's over here? The Vuka ceremony. Oh, see, we had started the day by saying maybe let's do that. And then I was like, no, it's way down south. Let's not. And there's going to be another shroud root over there. So let's go up here. We get a couple more shroud roots and we can check and see what our... We have six. Six points to spend. So if we want to get in here, we can get our spirit attribute up. We get absorb. It's going to critical hit with the magic weapon. A 50% chance to spawn two health mana or staff orbs. Life burst when killing an enemy. Where's... Damage to enemies with wands has a 24% chance to recover two mana. Spawn an additional wand projectile. That's what we want. So we're going to grab this. Wand Master. Love that one. Repeated wand damage is increased by 20%. Ooh. Repeated wand damage? Oh, but we don't have enough for it. Okay. 
Increase your spirit attribute by one. Increases mana by 20 point per attribute. Sure, let's unlock that then. Okay. So over here to the east southeast area. What are we looking at? It looks like it's going to be across down in that region. Well, let's go. That's what happens if you try to eat halfway through. Oh, it's up on this hill. It just hasn't popped in yet. The Lod has level of detail has not popped in yet. It's here. Yeah, I remember this. Oink. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, let's go. I tell you what we're going to do. I need to go drop some stuff off because we want room to loot things here. So we're going to do that and then we'll come back. All right, we're back. Our inventory looks like this. It's much better. We're going to come down here and take on the bad guys. Let's see, where can we go? Can we land over there? I probably could have before I ducked down like that. All right. In that case, let's see what's around the backside here. Uka Ceremonial Hill. There's a beehive over here. And then there's the backside of this hill. All right. Oh, I almost got up there. Oh, I thought I could make it. Maybe one more time from this angle. Not gonna worry about. It. Oh, get back up here. Not gonna work. Is there only the one bad guy up here? We got some fireball twos. Oh, that was nice. Catch me if you can, sucker. Enjoy that. I'm a battle mage, my friend. Actually, I should have buffed myself, shouldn't I? Because that's going to get me killed. Where'd he go? Where'd you go, Fatty McFatty? Get out of the way. Come on, buddy. Slow him down. He's hitting me pretty good with that. Well, there he is, big fella. We used our full arsenal against him. We get a hatchet. Not excited about that. That's okay. Should have buffed before we came here, but hey, what the heck? 
And by buffed, I mean we should have at least done food. <laughs> and we should have put it in that. A little plant there. Plant life. Okay. So we got the VUCA buff for a half an hour. And nothing else here? No chest? What's this over here? Poor old guys in cages. Oh, man. Sorry, dudes. I couldn't save you. There's a bunch of you. Oh, feel bad for them. Okay, well, get the book ahead. What's next? Obelisk research and lost in the shroud. Oh, yeah, that bow. Explore the hunter camp and look around. going on here what is the the obelisk research where is that at right there oh it's way up there okay. and there's a shroud flower here how far away is that 300 meters what what did we fail to pick up here Trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay. Just disappeared. It was like glowing or something, so I thought there might still be something to do with it. Moon boots. Mud boots. Mud moon boots. I mean, if we can get another shroud flower, we might as well. Because who knows when we'll be back down in this direction. In your direction. This is this place. And I kind of remember this. From my first playthrough. This is really cool geographic feature here. And you need to be down low. Down in there. To get it. And there's some scary trout area here. As well. So, my friend. Oh, that doesn't look good at all, does it? Can we get over there? I think we can fly to it, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm running low on resin because I made so many candles, so we should stop and pick this up. Okay. I think down by the base of that rock structure is safe. Cross fingers. Oh, there it is. Excellent. Okay. Some of these shroud flowers are easy to get to and don't have a lot of enemies around them, so they're just really nice, convenient ways to get skill points. And then the whole place clears, and if there's no immediate loot in the area, which I don't see any, then we'll just teleport out of here. I had climbed up onto that thing up there before, somehow hang glided over it or something. I couldn't figure out exactly where the shroud was. It's just down here. So, there it is. And then what's this? Southern Caravan. We have this house up here and there's the Southern Caravan. We've got a lot done. And what's this over here? A shroud flower over here? Oh, let's go get that one. It's right next to that home. We'll just get shroud flowers today. How's that sound? Nice and easy. Just chill. You've got home from work. You want to relax. You want a little colors fade ASMR. This is as close as I'll ever get to doing ASMR. Just playing these games. 
I've tried to watch some ASMR befo before thinking because I can't tell you how many people have suggested it on this channel that I should do it in comments and things like that. But there's a whole bunch about it that's actually really bothersome to me. Like I saw somebody do an AS ASMR and they're actually scratching the microphone. It makes this kind of crinkly sound. And I found that really annoying. And I was like, that would not relax me at all. That would actually cause me to claw my eyeballs out. Is this? What is that over there? What is that place? This is that, the ancient vault for the farmer, okay. So in this direction. Enshrouded. 70 meters in this direction, its location is below. Oh boy, its location is below. Whoa, is it right here? How far is it now? Is there a... Is there a tunnel over here somewhere? Because there's a road that goes right up here. And does it end in a cave? It does not. It goes up there. Well, my friend, what are we looking at here? If you follow, oh, this has got to be the cave entry right here. If we follow this along. We'll get there. That's the topography. My warrior is on the run. What are we looking at here? We're pretty close. You want to turn? Hey, what's this? What did I say? Topography for the win. Learn how to read a topo map, kids. It helps. Ooh, we got some amber and now we can recipe unlocked fireball too at the alchemist, which is great. That's great because then you can make a whole stack of them. We have fireball ones right now. Location is below. Sheltered, warmth, comfortable. We do, it's a cave system, so we don't know how long we're going to be down here. So we have the shroud ring on for an extra 40 seconds. Let's go find trouble. Oh. You want to get icy with me, buddy? Criticals to help us out. You're not dead yet? Which way did they go? Down, I'm sure. Explosive powder ball. What? But we've got a ton of those. Oh, but we haven't been using them. We should use some. Look at you guys. Look how cute you are. Enemy slain. Okay, torches, twigs, a whole bunch of copper over there, it looks like. Yep, we're not in the shroud here, so this is good. This is a safe place to come back to. Wherever here is. Oh, looky. What's this over here? A little bit more of the amber? Eat it, doggy. 
There's the shroud flower. What we got in here? Anybody? Where are you at? I hear you howling from somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Your biggest mistake. Anybody? Bueller? Oh, look at you guys. Aren't you cute? Another skill point. And there's a golden chest up here. Oh lord. And a little chest. Fireball twos. Not as good as Jack Daniels, but we'll take them. More fireball twos, copper ore. We know where to mine all of that that we could possibly want. Sometimes those ladders, you can see it got positioned just a little awkwardly. It's an infernal wand. Take that. Salvage it. So we're done here. Unless there's what? Nails? Yeah, we'll take those. Well, there we go. Camp. Oh, there's still a chest in here. Explosive powder ball. Okay. Everyone, we're going to get out of here. Leave this place behind. We have done a lot in these episodes. What's down here? Oh, there's still a shroud root down there. We'll have to go find that one next episode. I think for now, this will be satisfactory to end it here. Let's go back to our fancy home. It's a nice place to be. good place to end it it's nighttime i can get some sleep put some stuff away we'll talk to this guy what's he got you need my help. carpenter's camp you found my camp near yeah. morwenna blissful no we tried to make those lands habitable lush lakes and a pretty great view but when we came to settle the wildlife fought back hard eventually we abandoned our efforts the world was already falling apart, and I decided to enter the cinder vaults to build the future, not just repair the present. Diet, but you know, Flameborn, I helped to build Morwenna, named her after my most peaceful auntie. I built many a town around here. Ever seen Diadwin? I think I left some of my half-timbered blocks there. Why not check Finer's Keepers? Yeah, but we already got that. My half-timbered blocks. You found my half-timbered blocks, huh? Keep them in case you want to make something masterful with them. A new home built to last. We've done that, so that's great. I'll be here. And let's see if he has anything kind of new to build. If he has. No, he's still got the same kinds of tables. and The polished wooden throne would be nice. We need amber for that. We need 30 of it. So we'll have to find some of that. And a copper bar we gotta start making. So there's a lot of stuff to do here with regards to those things. But in the meantime, I'll call it a day. So everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I did build, ended up building a fireplace in my room. So as usual, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave your questions and comments down below. I'll see you next time. And until then, happy gaming everyone.